packed foods. I have a bone to pick with you. How is it that yesterday I was wandering through the dairy aisle of my local grocery store, minding my own business, when I stumbled upon this Philadelphia spinach and artichoke cream cheese? You couldn't have called? You couldn't have texted? OMG, did you not realize this flavor was going to rock my cream cheese loving world? All right, I can forgive you this one time under one condition. Don't tell chive and onion, but I've got a new BFF, spinach and artichoke cream cheese. It is delicious. So as you can imagine, over the last 24 hours or so since I made this monumental discovery, I have been wrecking my brain as to what I could make for dinner tonight that would highlight all that great flavor. And I've come up with something that I think you're going to like. I'm going to stuff some chicken breasts. And I'm dubbing it my crispy Mediterranean stuffed chicken. So let's start cooking and let's start with stuffing. The first thing we need to do is get a sl thin slice of prosciutto. Now I've got enough for four chicken breasts. So what you need to do is get four slices of prosciutto. If you get them at the deli counter, it's going to be maybe an ounce and a half. Not very much prosciutto because it's very thin. And what I'm going to do now is take some of my spinach and artichoke cream cheese and just spread that on top of that slice of prosciutto. So about one and a half tablespoons is what I'm going to need. Just spread that all across my slice of prosciutto. Oops. And then I've just got two other things going into the stuffing to give us all that Mediterranean flavor. I've got some chopped up sun-dried tomatoes. I like the oil-packed variety. And I actually chopped them up really finely in my food processor, but you could do it by hand as well. About a tablespoon or so of that is going to be good. Spread it out. And then I've got some toasted pine nuts. And I just toasted them up in a skillet on top of the stove. You want to watch them very carefully to make sure they don't burn. They're nice and brown. And that's it. That is our stuffing. And now what I'm going to do is just roll it up and make kind of cigar out of that. And this is going to be a great way to stuff that chicken because all of our cream cheese is right in there in the prosciutto. It's not going to leak out. It's going to be smugly fitted into the chicken and it's going to be delicious. So now before I stuff my chicken and get my hands all dirty, let's talk about that crispy topping. So when I was thinking about this recipe, I thought, well, I could grill it which would be nice because I don't have to worry about the cream cheese oozing out because it's all wrapped up. But then I thought again and I thought, well, what do I think of when I think about spinach and artichoke? Well, hot spinach and artichoke dip, of course. And what do I like to dip in my dip? Oh, maybe some crusty, warm baguettes. So, light bulb moment. Let's take those crusty baguettes and put them on top of our chicken stuffed with that spinach and artichoke and it's the best of all worlds. So I'm going to make a topping and I've just taken some French bread, just any dense crusty bread. You want to cut off the really hard crusty portions and just zipped it up in my food processor to make some nice breadcrumbs. I've got about two cups. And to that, I'm going to add just two things. I've got some melted butter. I've got about three tablespoons of melted butter. Just toss that around. That's going to give us that nice crispy crust in the oven. And then I'm going to add about a quarter cup of chopped up fresh Italian parsley. And that is going to give us just a little nice burst of freshness and flavor. So just toss that all together and we're going to put that on top of our stuffed chicken breast before they go in the oven. Alright, so that's looking good. Now, to stuff the chicken. I've got some chicken breasts, some nice big ones. And I'm just going to take a nice 
long, sharp knife and go in through the thickest part of the chicken. I need to make maybe an inch, an uh, inch and a half slit. And then I just want to take my knife and really work it around in there to make a nice long slit that's going to fit our little prosciutto cigar. You want to try not to pop through the other side or the bottom, but you know what? If you do, it's probably not going to be a big deal because your cream cheese mixture is all wrapped up in that prosciutto and it's not going to leak out anyway. All right, so let's see if I've done a good job and if this is going to fit or if I'm going to need to do a little more surgery on my chicken. Oh no, not quite. I need to do a little more cutting on my chicken to get that in there. That is a pretty big prosciutto roll. All right, so we're just going to stuff that in and then I'm going to just pull the side down and voila, there is my stuffed chicken. And isn't that easy as opposed to if you had to pound out your chicken or butterfly it and roll it up and tie it. None of that is necessary. It's all in there, easy as can be, and ready to go. So now what I want to do before I put my breadcrumbs on top is I want to give it a little bit of glue to stick. So I've taken a couple more tablespoons of that yummy spinach and artichoke cream cheese and I just microwaved it for about 15 seconds to get it really nice and soft. And I'm going to go ahead and spread some of that on top of my chicken breast. And I'm also going to hit it up with just a pinch of salt and pepper, but it's not going to need very much because there's plenty of seasoning and prosciutto is really salty. So you're just going to want a splash of salt and pepper, give it a little pinch, and a little grind, and then my breadcrumb coating. Oh, this is going to be so delicious. So I am going to go ahead, pat that on there, and make up the rest of my chicken breasts and pop them in a 425 oven. And depending on the size of your chicken breast, it's probably going to take about 15 to 20 minutes to get them all the way cooked through. You want to make sure they get to at least 160 degrees in the center. And isn't that lovely? It's going to be so crispy on the outside, creamy on the inside, and delicious. So I'm going to go ahead and get those done, and I'll meet you back here in a few. My chicken is out of the oven and I let it rest for a couple of minutes to make sure that those juices are all redistributed in, into the chicken. And oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. Should we peek on the inside? I think we should. And just cut it open and see what's going on with our beautiful stuffing. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That looks fantastic. You will love it.